everybody. Welcome. I'm going to be doing uh, chapter four, uh, the immune system drugs. Uh, these include uh, antimicrobials, uh, such as antibiotics, anti-tuberculars, antifungals, and antivirals. And I am Tony Guerra, PharmD, uh, the author of Pharmacology Drug Names Decoded. Before I even start pronouncing the drugs, uh, let me uh, pronounce the drug classes uh, for the antibiotics, and there are quite a few of them. Uh, the first are the penicillins, then the cephalosporins, the macrolides, the fluoroquinolones, the aminoglycosides, the tetracyclines, there's one linko linkosamide, a nit nitroimidazole, and antiprotozole. It's the same drug. It has uh, two different properties. The glycopeptide and the sulfa drug combination, which is a dihydrofolate reductase inhibitor. So again, the penicillins, cephalosporins, macrolides, fluoroquinolones, aminoglycosides, tetracyclines, lincosamide, nitroimidazole, antiprotozole, glycopeptide, and the sulfa dihydrofolate reductase inhibitor. Uh, the first drug uh, on the sheet is probably the most familiar, uh, which is amoxicillin. Uh, the brand name for that is amoxil, uh, one of the brand names, and that is amoxicillin. And you can see that the suffix has that cillin, C-I-L-L-I-N, and that's usually indicative of a penicillin antibiotic. The next drug is a combination drug, which is amoxicillin with clavulanate. You'll also see this as clavulanic acid. This is augmentin, and the two drugs together are working to augment against beta-lactamase uh, bacteria, and the amoxicillin uh, needs the protection of the clavulanate. The clavulanate, think of it as a bouncer or bodyguard. Again, that is augmentin, which is amoxicillin and clavulanate. The next drug is cephalexin. This is a cephalosporin, and you can see that from the prefix. The prefix is either going to be C-E-P-H or C-E-F, and uh, cephalexin, uh, we don't really see the brand name much anymore, but the brand name is Keflex, and that's cephalexin. Next is cefepime, which is maxipine. Uh, this is a fourth generation cephalosporin, and you can think of that maximum right now generation is fourth generation, uh, so cefepime. Ceftriaxone is rosafin, ceftriaxone, and that's a third generation cephalosporin. Right. Clarithromycin, uh, this is the first of the macrolides. Although you see mycin at the end, it doesn't really tell you what class of antibiotic it is, but usually if you do see that mycin, it probably is an antibiotic. But clarithromycin is biaxin, uh, so named, it's taken twice a day. Uh, but clarithromycin is the name of that one. Then erythromycin, which is, uh, there are a number of uh, brand names for this, but emycin would be one of those brand names, erythromycin. The next one is azithromycin, which is Zithromax, or you may see it abbreviated as a Z pack. That is Zithromax, which is azithromycin. Ciprofloxacin uh, is the first of a different class of drugs, which are the fluoroquinolones. And you're going to usually see that floxacin suffix, F L O X A C I N. And that's ciprofloxacin, and the brand name is Cipro. You might also see levofloxacin or levofloxacin. Again, that suffix floxacin tells you it's a fluoroquinolone, and this is levoquin, levofloxacin. Amikacin is another class of antibiotic known as an aminoglycoside, and that's amikacin and the brand name is Amakin. Gentamicin 
Uh, note the different spelling, M-I-C-I-N versus M-Y-C-I-N, and the brand name is Garamycin. Again, that's Gentamycin. Doxycycline is a tetracycline antibiotic. You're going to usually see that cyclin, C-Y-C-L-I-N-E suffix. That's doxycycline. Now, a brand name for that would be Dorix, D-O-R-Y-X. This is a linkosamide antibiotic, and the brand name is Cleosin. Again, this is clindamycin. Metronidazole is flagyl. This is metronidazole. This is that nitroimidazole antiprotozole. Again, it's metronidazole. And you see that azole ending, uh, but this is not an antifungal. SMZTMP. This is a combination acronym of two different drugs, sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim. Sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim. Uh, this is, the brand name for this is Bactrim or Septra. Vancomycin. Again, we see this mycin, uh, which tells us it's probably an antibiotic, uh, but it's uh, not a macrolide like we would think of erythromycin, uh, clarithromycin, or azithromycin. Again, this is vancomycin, and it's vancosin is the brand name. The next four drugs are going to be anti-tuberculars, or tuberculosis drugs. The first is isoniazid. INH is the acronym. It takes part of the chemical name, isonicotinyl hydrazine. Uh, but again, INH is what we usually call isoniazid. Ethambutol. Okay. My Ambutol is the brand name for ethambutol. Pyrazinamide. Uh, usually we just use the acronym PZA for pyrazinamide. Rifampin. Uh, the brand name is Rifadin. R-I-F-A-D-I-N for rifampin. Uh, fluconazole represents the first antifungal and uh, what you really want to look for is conazole, C-O-N-A-Z-O-L-E, and that tells you it's probably some kind of antifungal. But fluconazole is diflucan, and again that's fluconazole. Amphotericin B, that's another antifungal uh, for systemic infections, and the brand name for that is fungazone. That's amphotericin B. You might be curious why it's not amphotericin A, and there was an amphotericin A, but it doesn't really have very much antifungal activity. Terbinafine is the next antifungal. This is Lamisil, L-A-M-I-S-I-L, that's terbinafine. Nystatin, that's mycostatin. Again, that's nystatin. You want to be careful with this one because it has that statin suffix, which might lead you to think it's an anti-cholesterol drug or a lipid-lowering drug, uh, but nystatin is an antifungal. Zanamivir is our first antiviral. Zanamivir, and that's Relenza. R-E-L-E-N-Z-A is the brand name. Zidovudine is Retrovir, R-E-T-R-O-V-I-R. -E That's Zidovudine. Oseltamivir is another antiviral, and that's Tamiflu. You can tell what that's probably for. Oseltamivir. Valacyclovir is another antiviral, usually for some kind of herpes infection. Valacyclovir, and the brand name is Valtrex. And the last antimicrobial is acyclovir, which is Zovirax, Z-O-V-I-R-A-X. Again, that's acyclovir. And most of the time, we're going to see that vir, V-I-R, uh, for any kind of antiviral.